Welcome back for another video and today is another hunt recap. I'm going to be doing one of these a week up until the season starting. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have any videos from this past season that you want to see me review. This one that we're going to be taking a look at today was an absolutely insane hunt. The conditions were crazy. There was some crazy shooting going on. This was just an all around blast of a hunt. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I do. I mean, this one was crazy. And I've got something to point out in this video that you guys might have missed. And um, when I saw this on the video, I was really, really, really heartbroken. So stay tuned. This will be a good one. If you guys want to help support the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and drop me a like on this video. It means a lot and it helps these videos out a lot. So take a second. Leave me a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've also got some of these Spoonies hats on the website, and if you're interested in picking up some hats, there's a link in the description. So let's go ahead and uh, dive in here, take a look at this video, and give you guys a little bit of a commentary on this thing. I always like doing this because it gives you guys a chance to kind of hear my words about this hunt because, you know, there's only so much that can get caught on camera. There's a lot that gets missed. So I like having the opportunity to kind of give you guys a little bit of a scoop on this. So let's check this out. That's efficiency, boys. That's efficiency right there. This was a windy, windy, windy day, like 50 miles an hour. It was crazy. That was kind of a dumb intro. <laughs> but we'll roll with it. Today we're hunting in a cornfield. Um, we got like 50 mile per hour gusts of wind. It's just kind of a nasty day out got a little bit of snow we got all the decoys out today yeah we had a big spread that day and with it being so windy they've been wiggling and dancing I don't know if the camera's picking up there's one right there you can, you can see him moving we got spread out here ideally the birds are gonna come right in front of us we got sleeper shells on the corners big feed full bodies in the middle I'm trying to stay in the blind here so then you guys can hear me, but we got the A-frame staked out um, so then they don't blow away. Yeah, this was the first hunt where I had to use the stakes on the yes, A-frames. A-frames in the middle of a cut cornfield. One of the blinds is not grassed in very good. The other one is. Um, it's just kind of how it's going to have to roll. I brushed in that blind yesterday. This one... I think it'll do okay, especially with the wind pushing this back down in here. This is my favorite thing about these A-frames and heavy winds is that grass on the top comes and drapes over the, the middle pocket of the blind where there's no hole. So uh, having that heavy wind really does help out in an A-frame because it kind of covers things up. Levi, I've got the best blind snack and I got these little ones for the kids today. Um, I knew they would all want to want a little... Uh, mid-morning snack here so we're gonna we're gonna hand them out and uh tell them to not bite over them and uh don't don't eat them so fast you choke on them so here you go kids pass them down everybody gets one what's your guys's favorite blind snack there's always dots pretzels in our blind but let me know what you guys like to have down in the comments uh maybe it'll inspire me to branch out and try something new so something that I used this morning when we were trying to figure out where exactly to set up in this field was I used Onyx to look at the topo map of this field. You never want to set up in like a low valley in a field most of the time. So I used that topo map to figure out where like the highest point on this field is and that's pretty close to where we set up. It, we're kind of on a terrace here to kind of help hide the blind but we're really 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 close to the highest point on this field so it's another way I've use the app this year so check it out there's a link in the description right yeah this hunt it just like turned it just turned on there's like no birds and then they they all showed up they were really struggling getting down in the wind one I love it. There's nothing better than just a Dude, single that, that does pretty. it dirty. Oh my god. Just commit <laughs> all the way. Don't worry, I checked it. It's not banded. Uh, that was so close.
Doink. Guys, starting the day off right. Big ol' honk daddy. Ooh, softball head on this sucker. Came right in, just hovering. So, if we can get singles, doubles, triples, seven packs all day long coming in doing that thing, dude, it's gonna be a fun day. Um, it's definitely reassuring to see that happening and being able to get a shooting opportunity. We had to kind of mess around with us and fly away, but that one was absolutely locked. I hope you got that because I mean that that's his feet down in the decoys. At, I mean I was looking at him right here, so my GoPro had to have gotten something. Uh, and I got it online too if Sweet. we need it. But that was at like 17 yards. That was close. It was it was it was good. <laughs> Seems like a lot of the birds were just checking us out uh, before they would come down low. They just kind of swerve, swerve, swerve. Those were a bit far, I'd say. Um, got a few of them. Those are a lot farther than I thought. They're going to get up and out fast today. Yeah, when you're hunting in heavy wind, the birds will just get up and go. Well, there's been a few groups coming by. We had a group kind of trickle on down. By the time we pulled up, they were a lot farther than I thought they were. Uh, I think they're having a really hard time getting down in this wind. So we're going to have to be really patient on these birds because, I mean, they just catch that wind and they're up and out. I've experienced that so many times with ducks, but I don't think I've ever hunted in these kind of wind conditions for geese. But got a few in the bag. Can't complain about that. So hopefully we can get a few more coming in, getting some honkers. With wings like that, man, they just <laughs> they hit that wind. And oh, they yeah, just dude. peel out. I mean, they can get up and out. I mean, 50 mile an hour wind, they're just gone. I can't I tell if it's snowing still or if it's just snow blowing around with the wind. It seems like it's like if you look to the north, it's like blowing in your eyes and it's like, yeah, if you uh, look you over there, it's just like, Ugh. you need goggles or something. Yeah. Oh, well. Hopefully, we can get some more geese. Coming in. Coming in. Shoot them. I think I know what happened. Can I shoot too. these? Doink! Oh, I love it. Oh. That's the best feeling ever. <laughs> That's efficiency, boys! That's efficiency! Right there! I waited for that. I know. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Deader than a doornail right there. You know, you just practice enough, you'll reach my level eventually. <laughs> you gotta love it. I miss it. I miss having yeah. that, you know, just talking smack. In the Little blind. guys. These birds really like the right side of the spread for some reason. Maybe they can catch the wind a little better there. Wait. Now shoot him! Oh, take a look. Bottom right. Bottom right. Quill Lake Goose. That's what I was upset about. I aimed at the one right next to it. Two birds, one shell. Got another one. Nobody knew there was a quill. Another group. Big group right here, left side. Oh, that's a big group of geese. Um, 
Yeah, I want to keep updating you guys, but it's getting western around here. Yeah, we could probably wait it on those, but I think, I think they came back around here. This is that same group. Shoot these. Totally hit that bird. Yeah. It's crazy. When you get the shot cam video, you can see when you hit the birds and they just keep going. I think this group's going to do it pretty good from what I can see here. It's kind of hard to see them through the blind grass, but that's how it goes. Somebody got a double. Double? My double or did you, you did. <laughs> there it is. It wasn't a big pile of geese, but it sure was a fun hunt. I think we'll go ahead and uh, end that there. That was a really fun hunt. The conditions made it really fun. The birds working the way they did made it really fun. And we, we got a few collaterals, so that was always... A fun time to see so let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comments I really want to hear about it and let uh, get your guys' kind of advice on what you would have done in this situation it's definitely a uh, condition where like you don't hunt in the, these type of conditions very much so snowing heavy wind and uh, it made it kind of difficult to get a lot of shots on the same groups because you get them down low and they catch that wind and they're up and out. So it made shooting kind of difficult, but I think we did a pretty good job considering everything. Shot a few birds, had quite a bit of fun, and that's what it all boils down to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be uh, sure you stay tuned for more of these videos coming out every single week. Make sure to leave me a like, hit the subscribe button, follow me on my social media, and uh, make sure to check out the Outdoor Limits podcast. And I will catch you on the next one.